that's an air box drain, just puking out oil. Yeah, it's, I mean, the oil's pouring out of the air box drain on it over there, so that tube is over there. Okay. Just got the head off. <laughs> Chicken.
So this cylinder here, I can't get the injector. It just does not want to come out. And then I happen to look over at the valve and it's loose and it's up much higher than what this valve here is. So there's no tension on the spring and I can move it up and down. Spring's not broken. So obviously there's something going on with the valves in this cylinder and it's probably taking out that injector tip and that's why I can't get it out. So that's not a good sign. Okay, so I just about got the head ready to come off. Everything's off of it there. I just got a couple of coolant lines. I just drained the coolant out of it. Oh, it's actually still draining. Um, and then I got a couple coolant lines to disconnect and the head will be ready to come off. Just over 300, just over 300, 400. That's the one with the bad valves. The injector stuck 400, 400 is my compression. So three, it, I'm guessing this one was probably weak for a while too. So I think three of the cylinders on here have been really weak and that's why this bus smoked so bad. It's been a starting fluid queen for a long time. Even on, you know, 70 degree days, they still had to start it with starting fluid. So, um, which surprises me if those three other cylinders are at 400. Um, kind of surprised me, but uh, tomorrow I'll have that head off first thing in the morning. I had a long day today. I just, I'm not gonna finish it tonight. It's getting ready to get dark. So tomorrow it'll come off and be ready to go on this old look. That's pretty impressive. No coolant in the oil, considering the injector tip is embedded in there. You can't really see it. It's not, it's not protruding like it should. Like if I go to a regular one, you see how far it sticks out. So broken valve, and then it uh, just chewed everything to shit. So the head is ruined. Do you have a flashlight? I don't care if it gets grease on it. A little bit of a hole in a piston, which would explain the crankcase pressure. <laughs> it's definitely the biggest piston hole I've ever seen. Um, man, that's nasty. Oh shit, the piston's not... Well, yeah, that's nasty. We'll have to get down underneath and inspect for damage down there. Obviously the rod's trashed. Hopefully the crank is good. So there's the piston with the big giant hole in it. This is all shit that came out of the pan. And just to give you some scale there, that's, you know, quarter size. That's the rod bearings. And that one's even worse. And the rod is obviously bent. Um, the crank, there's shit on it. So we can no longer do an in frame on here. This is gonna need an out of frame. Zoom in on it there, try to focus. So, it might be hard to tell in the video, but it pretty much so matches what those bearings look like. And uh, we have a swing-in engine coming that was pulled out of an old look years ago. So we're gonna actually just gonna pull the cradle on it and uh, swing in a new engine. While we have the engine out, they're gonna do some bulkhead repairs on it. Okay, so when you remove the cradle on the back side, you can take these, there's two bolts out of this piece and it comes off and that hook is caught on there. So once you lift it up off of there, then you're free. And then if you take the two pins, out of the upper here and then that'll drop it down there so drive shafts disconnected all the grounds the battery cables the air lines fuel lines everything is disconnected and free this engine should come out we're going to lift it up about another inch because we've come down on the jack stands already so we'll go ahead and bring it up a little bit
five. 